So before we start with Crosshair, I want to apologize for uh, creating the last video about the updating to 5.1 because I think it is necessary for you to update always. And when you update it, some things will move, uh, some blueprint may change, but at most cases, you don't need to change a lot. Just sorry about that. And whenever there is an update and a bug happen i will show you how you can fix them and please if you have any more bugs that you find out in this new version tell me in question section so i can answer it with a video so no about the crosshair you remember we create a event thick graph that whatever we want to um, use with event thick we will put it in this event graph and we create a function and we call it calculate the spread amount for crosshair right so if you double click on this function you can see we just add a default spread amount to crosshair spread amount and we use it in our widget blueprint and with that what we have it has some default spreading uh, and it is look like this right so no, let's just do it for the walking. First of all, in here, I want to get this delta time and put it on a variable. And for that, I can right click in here and promote it to a variable, right? That's all we need to do. And I want to put it in globally in here so I can access it everywhere. And first thing to do, I want to hold control and get this execution line to this set and connect these to here. So now we have delta time everywhere. So now we want to spread more when we are walking or running, right? So for that, I want to get the velocity like we did it in animation blueprint, get velocity, okay? And with this get velocity, we can get the vectoral length like we did in again in animation blueprint. And with that, we have the uh, speed, right? And according to this speed, I want to change the spread amount, right? So first of all, what I'm going to do, I want to create a uh, variable in crosshair section in here. So let's just create a variable of type of uh, float, okay? And I want to call it crosshair speed factor okay or whatever you want to call it i want to put it in crosshair section in here so everything will be organized and with that we can add it to a spread amount in here so for adding it we can just use an add node just search for add and it is in operators and now with that let's just disconnect this and connect this to here and now we have default and we can add the crosshair spread speed factor in here okay so whatever value we put in this crosshair speed factor will be added to default and will be affected in widget blueprint and we will see that spread amount in our crosshair right so now with that let's just use this speed and tell it to change the spread amount of our crosshair right so we can grab from here and set the variable set crosshair speed factor okay with that we can according to the speed we can change the variable crosshair speed factor and when we change it you can see at the end it will be added to crosshair spread amount in here right so i can just tell it if it is greater than one for example okay if it is greater than one if it is greater than one change the uh, value for crosshair spread factor okay if we compile we can just give it a default value but i want it to be at zero at the beginning so we can just use a branch in here like this branch and with this branch, if the speed is more than one, we want to change the sp the crosshair speed factor to one, for example, right? So no, if we play our game, if we run, you can see we have the spread amount, but it won't go back. 
So this is one way to do it, but I want to show you another node for doing this kind of things. So let's just delete this and connect this execution pin to here. The node that I want to use in here is map ranged clamp. So what it will do, it will get a value, okay? And we can give it an in range and out range. For example, in range, you know that the um, when we are not walking or running, the speed will be zero. And when we are walking, the speed is 180. And when we are running, the speed will be 400. So we can choose zero to 400, map it to a value between zero and one like this. And now with that, we can just connect the return value to set the crosshair spread a speed factor, right? and it will be added to crosshair spread mode. So know with this, if the value of the speed is 200, it will give us 0.5 and it will set it in this variable. And if the speed is 400, it will give us one and it will put that one in the crosshair speed factor. So with that, if we compile and run our game, now you can see we have default, but if we walk, you can see the spread amount is changing and when we release it will go back so for checking that correctly i want to go i want to go to our level in here delete everything so we can run around like this i want to delete i want to delete this as well and let's just change the size of this like we did it before make it big and i want to rotate this to look at the this way right so we can play with it so now with that if we walk you can see the spread amount of our crosshair and if we run you can see it even spread more so if we again go back here you can see when we walk it will give the speed will be 180 and 180 in here in a range in range it will clamp it or map it between 0 and 1 and it will give us like 0.4 and if we're running it will give us 1 and if it will add it to it will set it inside the crosshair speed factor at, and at the end it will add it to crosshair spread amount and in the widget blueprint we will spread that amount that we set in here and I want you to do this part for jumping. Whenever we jump in, we want to change that spread amount. And at the end, I want to show you some other new node that is important to learn in Arial Engine 5.